तो दोस्तों दिस इज माई मैकबुक प्रो M1 Pro प्रो बेस वेरियंट सबसे सस्ता वाला अराउंड एटीन हंड्रेड डॉलर दैट आई बॉट आफ्टर स्टूडेंट डिस्काउंट थ्री ईयर्स अगो नाउ दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट थ्री ईयर्स ओल्ड आई हैव ड्रॉप्ड इट मेनी टाइम्स आई हैव ट्रेवल्ड विद दिस कंप्यूटर टू ऑलमोस्ट फोर टू फाइव कंट्रीज एंड ऑलमोस्ट आई हैव यू नो यूज इट टू अ लेवल लाइक केयर लीस्ट अबाउट इट कई बार इट हैज इवन ड्रॉप्ड इन अ प्लेन फ्रॉम द कैबिन ऊपर से इट इन अ बैग इट फेल मेनी टाइम्स एज वेल एंड आई थॉट इट विल हैव मेनी इशूज दैट आई यूज टू हैव विद प्रीवियस कंप्यूटर्स बिकॉज ऑफ माई पोअर हैंडलिंग एंड सिंस एम थ्री प्रो एंड एम थ्री मैक्स चिप्स आर आउट इवन मार्किस ब्लाउली सेट दैट ही इज नॉट अपग्रेडिंग टू द न्यू मैक बुक्स एंड एन द न्यू चिप इज ग्रेट इन एवरीथिंग बट इट्स नॉट एक्चुअली गोइंग टू मेक ए मीनिंगफुल डिफरेंस to my workflow i logged in and i canceled my order and i will continue to daily what i have for the past i guess 3 years now with the m1 max 16 inch macbook pro so now if no one is upgrading to the new macbooks then what is the reality of these macbooks after 3 years let's talk about it in this video so first of all the build quality because i least care about handling so i remember that i have my macbook pro 15 inch almost 5 years ago so that had an issue with the screen but luckily it was fixed in warranty this whole screen turned yellow do you know why because apple told me that i put it in my macbook and all the books are on top of it and i put my backpack like this so all the weight of books goes on my macbook so that's why many students face that issue and ye case the blue case also caused some hardware issues now what's the reality of this macbook no never faced it the screen is still amazing i use it many times in the sun and i still enjoy using it and the display is pretty bright i sit in the sun many times i work with this computer at the beach in mexico no problems at all so that's why the overall package of this as compared to my windows laptop experience i cannot imagine switching to windows now because this display works the best in the sun number 2 issue in the build quality that i used to experience in the past was sitting in the sun the whole computer died one day i sit in the sun a lot i love sun mujhe vitamin d i love vitamin d i don't want to be deficient because of that i sit in my balcony i sit in the rooftop wherever i have sun i want to work in sun at least 2 to 3 days a week now what used to happen was this whole logic board the motherboard died of a macbook 15 inch when i used to sit in the sun now with this macbook never happened i used to be scared in the first year of this macbook second year also scared but third year i don't care about it because you know two years ho gaye i think that maybe i'll upgrade if something happens so that's why i've been taking the risk and nothing happened at all number 3 issue now that used to happen was one day what happened i dropped this macbook not even kidding so if you see here there is a big dent in india because here there is carpeted floor i accidentally let's say drop it from the bed nothing happens now in india it was a hard floor so hard floor pe this macbook fell on the corner like this so 14 inch macbook fell like this and there is a dent as well which is quite big because of that this macbook doesn't close perfectly so let's say i close this laptop there is a small gap even though the magnet lock is pretty good it closes but the display doesn't turn off immediately so if i turn off all the lights and then you will see that for first 10 seconds the light stays on so the sensor kharab ho gaya but luckily there is auto stand by so even if i close the macbook like this in 10 to 15 seconds it will stand by so i have been able to resolve that issue because of auto stand by and if someone closes the computer and open it immediately it does not lock you see it it is not locking immediately because of the sensor dying but still i am able to use it the build quality is still very very impressive now next interesting part about the build quality yeah it's still not unlocking by the way that is water damage i have taken the risk one time i was in a bus from new york city i have told you maybe in the past that i accidentally dropped alcohol on top of it and still nothing happened i wiped it flipped it over all the keys of the keyboard still work both on my 16 inch and 14 inch macbook nothing happening at all which is so so impressive like even with m1 air that wasn't the issue now let's talk about the big difference what i felt 
when I switched from M1 Air, the cheapest MacBook that I bought three years ago. So that I used for almost one and a half years before switching to this computer. So the reality is I was never complaining the performance. I was always happy about it. The only thing I was complaining about was RAM. 8 GB RAM wasn't enough for me. So now after switching to M1 Pro with 16 GB RAM, I was so happy because with this, I, when I teach in the weekends, by the way, if you haven't checked out, I've been teaching live Android and iOS app development for the last like two, three months. It is, it's a big grind for me. I've given my 120% towards the cohort and that is only possible because of this MacBook because of enough RAM. There is Xcode running, there is a simulator. In Android Studio, there is simulator or emulator, whatever you want to call it. Then Zoom class, it can crash sometimes. I teach every, every weekend so i remember one time in crash and then i resetted the computer completely emptied it out and then resetted it and it was fixed so agar aap every six months it is recommended you format the computer and then use it it will work very smooth because it has enough resources it has enough ram so agar aap bhi reset karte rehte ho, it will continue to have that optimization again but one thing that cannot be resolved even after resetting is the battery health which is depleted so currently my macbook if i open the battery health so let's go to uh, commands comma if you see the current battery health right now, it is 85%. So battery health has depleted by 15% because I have edited so many videos. Even my M1 Air depleted to around 91% after one and a half years. This has depleted more, obviously three years have happened. Now it lasts, to be honest, if I am editing videos back to back, 4K or even 1080p, it lasts only two and a half hours now with intense video editing. Obviously it is less than it used to be four hours. It is less for sure with intense video editing, but overall with just browsing, it lasts three, four hours because I use it so rigorously. And also it has that screen issue. Maybe like, you know, it doesn't unlock and lock even after five minutes this whole review you're seeing it is not locking at all so it has a bit of screen issue in my case even though it locks but i think it shouldn't be that big of a problem in terms of battery but huh like it has depleted and that is the only reason i think of maybe upgrading new battery mil jayegi. but overall since two three hours is enough for me if i am in a plane i don't use it for more than two three hours my computer anyway so i never complain about battery but huh if i was a student i must have thought about upgrading because class to class class to class you don't have time to charge again and again now next issue that i personally a little bit hate is the trackpad so now after three years of using a computer this trackpad is a bit heavier on my thumb i feel more pressure when i click it as compared to this let's say this newer macbook so it's much subtle it is much better so this is a new my office computer so if i click it the clicks are much more smoother on this computer on a 16 inch which is obviously newer so you cannot compare a new and an old computer something will de deplete in itself so that's why i really feel like if i upgrade now I can get a better trackpad experience because this click has become a bit heavier and I feel a pain in my thumb if I use a lot. So that's why I always carry my mouse and keyboard and this is like a multi-device keyboard. I can switch to three devices, this mouse, three devices. Both are almost like less than $60. If you want to check out, you can check out in the description below. Yeah, so this is must, this has become must for me so that my thumb and fingers are at rest. Now, before performance, I really want to touch about on the overall experience of using this MacBook, whether it is webcam, whether it is amazing, amazing microphone. I feel like this whole MacBook is complete in itself. Even if I'm, let's say, teaching, I don't put on extra webcam or even if I don't use my iPhone, I can use my iPhone as microphone or, or my webcam as well, thanks to that ability with the ecosystem, you can easily change the webcam to iPhone's webcam, but I don't have to because overall it's complete package is good enough for most of the cases. Many videos I've seen on YouTube, people are still making with just MacBooks, webcam, MacBooks, microphone, and it is enough in many cases. So that's why the overall experience is still magical for me. The amount of time it saves me in terms of 
iOS development, it is quoted that software engineers save around 50 to 60% more time coding because of M1 chips. These Apple Silicon chips are so, so powerful. I remember when I used to work as an iOS developer in multiple companies, the build used to take 30 minutes. It reduced to six minutes after we switched to M1 Max at the time. And even M1 Pro, it was pretty good 15 minutes. So the amount of time it has saved a developer is priceless but still the difference you will get from switching to m1 pro to m3 pro even though it has three nanometer chip absolutely killing performance the m3 pro in many cases is better than m1 max in terms of performance this mind-blowing because if you think about the pricing 3000 computer two years ago of apple is being killed by a 1500 dollar computer right now from apple so these numbers are amazing, but the problem is that we don't need that performance. We are already happy with the build performance with M1 Pro three years ago. So abhi, we don't feel like switching to another computer. Now Apple has itself kar diya that we are already so happy with the first generation of M1 Pro. We don't feel like upgrading. And now next is performance because in terms of in-depth performance, 4K video editing, 1080p video editing, multi-layer. Obviously, if it is a multi-layer video editing on Final Cut Pro, this laptop struggles. So currently I have Xcode running and plus my video editor Final Cut Pro opening in around 20 seconds. Yeah, it is a bit slower than before. So 20 seconds this Final Cut Pro opens with Xcode and simulator in the background, which is slower than I would say. But in terms of video editing performance, once you start editing on it, even if it is like multi-layer, let's say this is the project, I add layer to layer, layer to layer, no problems at all, it works fine. If it is three layers, it may struggle for a few minutes and I'll let it render and it's fine. So I don't complain about performance ever, even after three years for my video editing usage. I still love it. Build time is almost three minutes for a 10 minute video for me. So 10 minute video, chai 4K, 1080p, three minutes, I get it rendered. And because I have 5G internet, I upload it in two minutes. So everything happening in five minutes is so magical you cannot believe <laughs> when i had like my first macbook if i let's say want to render 4k i'll start building it and then go to gym come back and then upload the video so those were the times i have seen and now it is truly truly magical so question is will i upgrade and the answer is absolutely not because with the ability of using an external SSD and with the habit of formatting the computer every six months, I don't complain about performance. Obviously, every six months, I feel like, yeah, six months and something is crashing and something is wrong. And then I format it again, again, great performance. So I will not be upgrading. Will you be? So overall, I am not upgrading to M3 Pro or any of the M3 variant. Maybe next year, I will think about it. if battery depletes even more so battery is the biggest reason that will make me switch to a new computer none of the hardware so what do you think let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next one and don't forget to check out our android and ios cohort in the description below because if you use the code mac you can get 20 percent off immediately go check out right now